This week on Your City Now, Denver gears up for a ride to work, libraries give kids a summer adventure, and city leaders recognize the efforts of Denver's Special Victims Unit. These stories and more are just ahead on Your City Now. The weather's getting warmer, and for many people, that means it's time to trade their four-wheel drive for something with a little more leg power. June is Bike Month in Colorado, and this upcoming Wednesday, June 26th, is Bike to Work Day. More than 18,000 people participated in Bike to Work Day last year. If you want to get in on the fun, you can find event maps, register to win prizes, and find out how to get a free breakfast from sponsors at biketoworkday.us. School might be out for the year, but the Denver Public Library wants to make sure your child is still hitting the books. The Library Summer of Adventure program rewards kids who read over the break while helping them retain important skills. If kids aren't engaged during the summertime, especially because they're out of school, they lose anywhere from one to three months of academic skills in reading, in math, and um, other, other academics. And so we want them to be engaged, and that's why we have all the programming that we're offering at our branch locations. To keep students reading, the library is offering weekly prizes such as family passes to the Denver Zoo, the Museum of Nature and Science, and other cultural institutions. But it isn't just school-age children who benefit. Uh, we have story times that we offer in-house for babies and toddlers and preschoolers. So we want parents to be engaged and we want them to build community within the library with other parents and, and our staff. So uh, they can come and get some of those resources here as well. The program is free for infants through high school age kids and runs through August 10th at all 26 Denver Public Library locations. You can learn more at denverlibraryadventures.org. This summer, Denver residents will once again have easy and affordable access to healthy food thanks to Chatfield Farms farm stands. The stands, located in the Wellington Webb Building and at Denver Human Services in the Castro Building, are designed to bring fresh produce to neighborhoods throughout the city. The Web Building location opens Wednesdays at 10 a.m. and the Denver Human Services stand is open from 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. on Fridays. The stands offer a 50% discount for low-income residents. To find out more, please visit chatfieldcsa.org. June 15th is World Elder Abuse Awareness Day a day to raise awareness about the millions of older adults who experience elder abuse, neglect, and financial exploitation. Uh, many of us don't realize or comprehend the extent to which our elders are abused and exploited and harmed throughout our nation. Why should we? For most of us, it, it, it shouldn't happen. It, it's not something that we can comprehend. It shouldn't, couldn't possibly happen to this most vulnerable group of people in our community. To meet the rising number of at-risk adult cases, a partnership was formed between departments to create the Denver Forensic Collaborative. These cases are then investigated by the Police Department's Special Victims Unit. They treat older adults with dignity and respect, even in the worst of circumstances. Their work has great value for our community and its most vulnerable members. Every day they get new reports and those are assigned for investigation. In celebration of investigators' efforts, Denver District Attorney Beth McCann presented Sergeant T.J. Blair and Detectives Michael Gillett, Ken Klaus, and Umar Shabazz with awards to celebrate their individual efforts to those in the greatest need. Friday, June 21st will be a day-long celebration of the Berkeley neighborhood and Denver at large. From noon until 8.30 p.m., the Berkeley Yoga Festival promises a soulful celebration Located on Tennyson Street from 42nd to 44th Avenue, the festival will have guided yoga classes, live music, beer, food, and so much more. Go to berkeleyyogafest.com for tickets and learn more about the special offers and events happening during the festival. On Saturday, June 22nd and Sunday the 23rd, Denver celebrates Japanese heritage and culture with the 47th annual Cherry Blossom Festival. Downtown Sakura Square will be home to exhibits, food, demonstrations, live entertainment, and a central marketplace. The festival is free. To learn more, go to cherryblossomdenver.org. You can catch new episodes of Your City Now every Friday. Thanks for watching, Denver.